Hello everyone. I've just discovered a new way of bringing Mixamo animations into DAS Studio for use on the Genesis 8 and 8.1 figures. It's a little nugget of information that works via the Genesis 2 figure, something that I hadn't tried before. And Travis from DAS brought this to my attention. Thank you so much for doing that, Travis. It requires a little magic script by somebody called the 3D Strobis. Thank you so much for sharing that on DeviantArt. I'm going to show you how it works so that you can maybe get this working in your own animation projects. Here's something I've made earlier and this is the Genesis 8.1 male figure with an animation that is called Taunt. So we're going to use the same for this demo. So usually there's a problem with hands and feet and arms not working properly but with this new system it seems to be fairly accurate so there's still a few things that are a little bit off if you look at the fingers but you know it's definitely a starting point and it works much better than the genesis one way that i had used earlier so in essence let me just go and stop this and show you where to find that magic script this is on deviant art i'm going to go and leave a link to this in the description made by the 3d strobist here it is thank you so much for sharing that the top part is a little bit difficult to understand so it took me a while to comprehend what he meant by this but the main thing is explained at the bottom and these are the essentially the steps i'm going to be showing you and this is a magic script that we need for this let's go and start with the brand new scene and see what we can do here one of the problems with Mixamo is that we can't upload a Genesis 8 or 8.1 base figure into their system. The interface just rejects it and the, the, the rigging appears to be too different. So it's one of those things. We can't just export this guy and upload him. That's the main problem. But what we can do is go and load in a Genesis 2 male base figure or female base figure and tick that filter by context box here. And then there's the green icon here, the Genesis 2 Starter Essentials. That's what you need to install with Install Manager. And then you have all this content here available for free from DAS 3D. You see these two base figures here, Genesis 2 Base Female and Base Male. I'm gonna use the male, double click him and load both the Genesis 8 or 8.1 and the Genesis 2 figure into the scene. This looks slightly creepy. So what we need to do is essentially pose the Genesis 2 figure just so that it's in the A pose and then export that so that Mixamo can accept it. So what we need to do now is we need to tweak the Genesis 2 figure so that it's as closely accurate to the A pose of the 8 figure as possible. Let me just quickly do that. So as accurately as you can match these figures up. I have, as I said, I have included two post files, one for the male, one for the female that seem to be working okay for me, but literally, so as close as possible, I haven't matched them exactly here, but you know, as close as, so that's not just the arms, it's also the forearms as well as the legs, as well as the shin. So one of those things, it's quite, quite a lot going on there. But once we have that, let me go and switch off my Genesis 8 male figure so that we only have the Genesis 2 male figure left. You can go and save this as post preset now if you like. The most important thing before we start exporting this is that we need to bake the joint rotation. So if you look at the thigh for example, I see that my bend and side by side motion is not in its default position. So the twist is in its default position that's dark gray but these ones here the one, the values in white, those are the ones that I've changed. And I need to make it so that these become the new defaults. So essentially apply the rotation. That's what Blender would call it. And here in that studio, we do this with the joint editor tool. That's this little guy here, the pencil with the kind of a butterfly icon here. There's also under tools, you can get the joint editor from here. Alt Shift J is the default shortcut key. And with all these bones in the figure showing, right click anywhere, head over to edit, and then click Bake Joint Rotations. And that will set all these sliders to essentially a new default value. Let's go and do that. It happens for all bones, so you don't have to have a bone selected, just it happens globally along all bones. I'll go switch back to my 3D manipulator. And now I'm gonna go and switch the figure into base resolution. That's not strictly necessary, but it's one of those things we don't need the high resolution in Mixer more, so base resolution will work perfectly fine. And now we're ready to export. Let me go and save my scene here, just so that I don't lose anything. 
I'll just call it Mixer Mode Demo V1 that I have both my figures in here. But what I want to do now is with the Genesis 8 figure invisible, so control click that eyeball icon if you're not entirely sure if everything is visible, like, you know, tear duct and eyelashes and all that. Control click that little eyeball icon so that only the Genesis 2 figure is visible. And now we export this as an FBX. Let's do this under File, Export, and then we'll go and head over to a folder we trust on the desktop. Down here, we're going to set this to Autodesk FBX. Give it a name, something descriptive like G2 Mail Base A Pose, and hit Save. Up comes an options dialog, and as of Dash Studio 4.20, we now have new options that we can set here. So I'm going to use the latest version, output options. I'm going to set this to FBX 2020 binary. That's kind of cool. I want to have the selected figure only, no hidden figures. I want to have figures. I don't need props or animations. In fact, we're going to deal with that later. I do not need to embed the texture, so I'm going to disable that. I do not need the merge clothing into the figure. And that is pretty much everything. Yeah, I think that is everything. Let's go and try it out. Hit accept and we'll see what happens. I'll go over into Mixamo where I'm already logged in and it looks like I've got a different character selected here. That's perfect. I don't need that. I'm going to go and say upload character here at the top right. I'm going to go and use the one that I've just exported from Das Studio, the G2 Mail Base A Pulse, 1.6 megabytes. Let's see if it works. There we go. Male character. You can see the dead giveaway here is the eyelashes, which are part of the Genesis 2 geometry, so they appear very dark here. Notice fingers all joint movements seem to be working okay. And most importantly, we don't get an error message, so that's kind of nice. Pick an animation of your choice. I believe mine was the taunt one because it contains something with fingers, and I thought that's that's kind of nice to, to showcase. This one here, that's the one, taunt. But there's various others, so I'm going to use this one, the female figure taunt here. I'll click on it. And then that gives me this. So that looks good to me. I don't seem to be having issues with the arm space. I could probably bring that a little bit closer, but I'm going to leave it at the defaults just now so that you can follow along. I'll go and download my character. And here, these options, they seem to change every once in a while. So what seems to work for me is in the format section to select FBX 6.1. So rather than the binary, I'm going to use 6.1. I'm going to use it with skin. I don't need keyframe reduction. And I'm going to use 30 frames, but the same should work for 60 frames. So let's go and stick with 30 frames, hit download, and that'll give us an FBX file that we can now use inside DAS Studio. Here it is in my downloads folder. Let me go back to DAS Studio and go and delete my Genesis 2 figure out of here. I don't need this anymore. And now I'm going to go to File Import and head over to my downloads folder where I have the taunt.fpx, 4 megabytes. Let's go and open it, see what happens. A little options dialog comes up and that lets us choose what we'd like to import. So an FBX can contain multiple things. We need to switch this to mixermode.com and then hit accept. Out comes something that appears to have skin even, which is kind of cool. I didn't really export the skin, but this is now referencing the original skin texture that I had here. I also see his bones, but let's not let that deter us on my timeline. If I open that, I seem to have more frames than I previously had. Let me go and play this back and here we go. Genesis 2 figure, or rather an FBX resembling it, is now in my scene. That's nice. So here comes trick number one to get this over onto our Genesis 8 figure. Since this is not the correct generation, we can now go and save this whole animation as a pose preset and apply it to our Genesis 8 figure. So let me go and leave the figure in here. Don't delete it. I'm just going to go and save this out with a plus sign here. Pose preset. I'm going to call it Taunt Animation, hit Save. 
and that gives us the option to either save the current frame only, but that's not what we want. We want to save the whole animation. We want to save all these keyframes here. If you pick a different animation, you'll have different number of keyframes here. Properties, we want literally everything selected. I tend to not compress the files, which means I can have a peek in a text editor and then hit accept. And that will give me an animation pause file here. So as I said, don't delete this figure out. I'm going to go and make it invisible. Control eyeball icon here on the Genesis 2 figure. And the same applies here on the Genesis 8 figure. Control eyeball icon on it to bring it back. And now make sure your playhead is positioned on the first frame of the animation, very important, on frame zero, with your Genesis 8 figure selected. Double click the taunt animation that we've just exported. And then this will happen. Very nice. So we have something that now seems to work. If I play this back, it kind of almost looks like the Genesis 2 animation, but something's still off. And that has to do with joint rotations. And, you know, his, his finger isn't pointing really at his arm. And his, it's, you know, something is, something's kind of off in this animation. And this is where the 3D Strobist's excellent little magic script comes in. Let me go and stop this and go back to the first frame. So we still have that invisible FBX that we've imported into the scene here. We have that overlaid. And if I go and play these things back side by side, I can see what's wrong here, that there's some arm rotation things are kind of off here. So let's go and fix that. The FBX doesn't have to be visible for that. I just did this so that you can you know, follow along. It just needs to be in the scene. So let's go over to his article and copy this script out that we see at the end of the article. Here's a left click and drag from here all the way to the closing bracket, the closing curly bracket here. Hit Control C, go back over to Dash Studio and open up the scripting API tab into which we can copy that so we can run it. I'll go put that at the top here. Just right click on it, add pane and find this script IDE pane. That's what that looks like. Position your cursor inside here and hit Control V to paste that code in. There we go. So the way this works is this is where the code is. And at the bottom, you've got a little debug window here. So if I go and hit execute with these two figures in the scene, it should now go and do some calculations and give me a result at the end that says script executed in one second and 300 milliseconds. That's kind of cool. I can leave it open, head over to the viewport again. And now if I hit play, my hands or my arm motions should be relatively cured. So I can see that it's not exactly there. There's still some issues with the with the top of the finger, but it is very, very close. So, you know, that's 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 neat. I'm really, really pleased and really chuffed how you can import mixable animations and make them work on Genesis 8 and 8.1. So this is a Genesis 8.1 figure and it works, which is just which is just absolutely fantastic. So thank you so much to Travis for bringing this article to my attention. And also thank you so much to the 3D Strobist for writing this little script. I'm going to investigate further into this and hope you can integrate it into your workflow. So just to recap, load Genesis 8 into your scene, load Genesis 2 into your scene, match Genesis 2 as close as you can to the A pose of Genesis 8, make the Genesis 8 figure invisible, bake the joint rotations on Genesis 2, export Genesis 2 into Mixamo, upload it, apply an animation, download the animation, import it, save it as a pose preset, then apply that pose preset onto Genesis 8, and then run that magic script that'll make the final corrections on that figure. That is kind of how it works. I know, I know, it's tough, it's it's difficult at the moment, but you know, maybe somebody magical can create like a one-click script for making these things happen automatically. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you find this useful. I hope I'll see you next time. Take care, bye-bye.